What is up everybody? It's your boy Bobby from Bobby's Breakdowns and today we are going to be talking about some of the most iconic fathers in TV and movie history. Yes folks, Father's Day is right around the corner. We did this for Mother's Day. I enjoyed doing this so let's just do it for Father's Day as well. Why not right? So with that being said, let's dive right in. I got mainly TV dads on here. I thought there were a lot of good ones. I have some from the movies, but it's nine dads from TV and three from the movies. So let's just knock out the movies right away. I'm not ranking these because it's really hard. John Q is the first one on this list. Played by Denzel Washington. His kid needed a heart transplant. They couldn't cover the money to put up in front. So he took the hospital hostage until his kid got a new heart crazy good movie i feel like any dad would do that just to, to help their kid sacrifice themselves awesome movie awesome father and in the end his kid ended up getting a new heart coming in next with movie dads is brian mills you can say what you want about brian mills from the taken franchise yes his daughter got kidnapped yes he and his wife ended up getting kidnapped but in the end he got his daughter back he went to a lot to get his daughter back and that shows so yes did he let his kid go to whatever country <laughs> very young yes did he get her back yes he did so props to him for that and lastly on the movie dead list this one's a bit of a dark one but it's one of my favorite movies you guys know that so maximus from gladiator unfortunately they took his son from him and his wife that man went to battle literally to avenge his wife and son. And in the end, spoiler alert, but this movie's like 20 plus years old, he ended up dying, but he got to be with them again, and he avenged them and killed the man, Joaquin Phoenix, Commodus, who killed them. So he was a great father. Unfortunately, they were taken from him way too soon, but he got his revenge in the end, for sure. Now on to TV dads. There were a lot of good ones that I liked. So that's why there's nine of these. So again, I couldn't rank these because it's just so hard. Coming in first, one of my favorite shows ever. Uh, one of the characters was just on The Masked Singer, oddly enough. Coach Taylor from Friday Night Lights. He was a father to his daughter in the show, but he was also a father figure to all those kids. I feel like Tim Riggins and Smash probably would have ended up in jail if it wasn't for Coach Taylor. So, Coach Taylor, you deserve your praise today, buddy. He was a father figure to all of them, and like I said, I feel like they would have went down the wrong path if it wasn't for Coach Taylor. Next up is Danny Tanner, played by Bob Saget, RIP. Obviously, Full House, it was like everyone's family. He was everyone's dad, and props to him. Those 30 minute episodes, he tackled that problem real quick and a problem never led into another episode, maybe, I don't know. But they tackled a lot of problems in that 30 minute episode. So hats off to you, Danny Tanner. Now on to two of the funniest TV dads in my personal opinion. Red Foreman, everybody knows Red. No nonsense, he will put his foot right up your, you know, without hesitation, but he was a father figure to all those kids. He let Hyde stay there when he needed help. He would have opened his door if he had to for those other kids, so he deserves his praise. He he had a bit of a soft streak at some points, but he was, a, he was a tough cookie. He was a good father. He took care of Eric, and yes, he deserves to be on this list for sure. Next up is Julius from Everybody Hates Chris. They don't have a last name. That just sounds expensive. I love that man. So many one-liners was so funny. He worked two jobs to put a roof over their head and he always came home. He made sure the kids had a father figure and like I said, hilarious, but he also taught them a lot of lessons. So Julius, he deserved to make this list, buddy. Now on to personally one of my favorite TV dads because I loved this show as a child. I still do. I watch it when it's on. Carl Winslow from Family Matters. Father to Eddie, Laura, and at some points, Judy Winslow. That was a weird one. Uh, she was only there like a season or two. But Carl Winslow, cop, he 
was an awesome father figure. He took care of his kids, and he also took care of Urkel in a way. <laughs> he hated Urkel, but he always let Urkel in his house. Yes, awesome father figure took care of those kids. Never even thought about leaving. Awesome character. I would like to meet him in real life, for sure. But yes, Reginald Vell Johnson, who plays Carl Winslow, awesome. He deserves a spot on this list. Many examples if you've seen the show. He goes above and beyond for his kids, even his nephew, Rachel's son. He even let 3J stay there for a while. Great guy, great character, deserves to be on this list. Next up is another one of my favorite shows. Uncle Phil, that's what everyone refers to him as, Philip Banks, because he was the uncle of main character, Will Smith. But he was like a father to Will, let's be real. Will got in trouble in Philadelphia, and he lived in Bel Air with his uncle and aunt. Uncle Phil, father to four kids, if you want to include Will, it's five. But life lessons he taught, he gave them a very stable household, let them live there in the pool house, had no problem with it. But he always taught those life lessons. Uncle Phil was a good character, RIP to that actor. He was a good one. And there's that, always that iconic scene where Will the, isn't wanted and Uncle Phil just hugs him. That's not a scripted scene. They went off on a tangent and Uncle Phil just thought it was the right place to hug him. So awesome moment. Hats off to him. He deserves to be on this list for sure. Next up is Homer Simpson. Maybe not the best TV dad, but one of the most iconic ones. So what? He strangled Bart Simpson at some points. Happens to the best of us. I think it was like a every season thing <laughs> for a while. But yes, Homer Simpson deserves to be on this list. Iconic cartoon TV dad for how long has that show been running? Over 35 years now? He deserves to be on this list. He is notable for sure. And he's also a good dad at some points. At some points. Final three dads I have on my list. Tim Taylor from Home Improvement. Oh, oh, oh. Come on. Tim Allen, Tim Taylor. Father of three boys husband show ran for like eight or nine seasons he was always there for his boys even if they messed up really bad he was always there for them and he was even messing up bad at some points with all the explosions and all that tim taylor definitely deserves a spot on this list iconic and he's been a tv dad tim allen in a few shows actually next up is walter white is this a controversial one yes was homer simpson a controversial one Yes. Iconic, folks. Walter never hurt his son. He may have kidnapped the daughter at one point, but he was never going to hurt her. We know that. But he deserves a spot on this list because it's one of the best shows of all time, and Walter is one of the best characters of all time. Now on to my number one ranking. I lied to you a little bit. I said we weren't going to rank these. So my number one overall ranking is Peter Griffin. I'm just kidding. Of course, guys, it's my father. Who else would it be? Come on. Dad, thank you for all you have done for me. We have some good times together. It's it's never a dull moment when you're around. And some of the moments I can think of off the top of my head that you just, it's funny. Dad, thank you for everything you've done for me for 28, over 28 years on this earth. You have done so much for me, so thank you. And of course, guys, that's my number one ranking, because who else would it be? And that is my Father's Day list for Father's Day. Not a great outro, but hey, we'll work with it. Did I leave off any TV or movie dads? Comment below what you think. I got the ones that I really like and really wanted, so that's cool by me. I probably missed some, but hey, comment below what I missed. There you go. But with that being said, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit that like button, folks. We're doing a new thing now. We're gonna start recapping wrestling pay-per-views. I enjoy doing the predictions, I really do, but I can't get an accurate prediction list because they decide to add matches at the very, very last minute. And I just, it's hard to do it when they're adding matches the night before. So the recap eliminates that and we can go in theory about it and we can talk about it. But with that being said, I am Bobby from Bobby's Breakdowns, and we will see you in the next one. Later.